we're going to install and make yourself a new theme we're going to download it first from github which is here and we're going not to talk a lot we're going to do a lot it's not a tutorial how i did it it's how to make a new theme we're going to make sure that we can install it so apt get install github we need to do that oh github git of course and then we're going to git clone control v this is the complete version that we're used to the green version you see that i can provide you with a script that goes inside here above source then we have to make sure as well that there are lots of lots of three uh, packages installed sudo apt install we need inkscape we need ruby sass with a dash in between and we need opti png enter and of course everything is already installed here and um, just for reference sake I installed brackets sublime text and catfish to figure out how this uh, scripting worked okay that's that next up is changing the color and display I've provided you with this kind of code and we are going to look for special colors here this will be our personal color and I see I've already filled it in but when it when you are receiving it it will be this will be the light color and this will be the right the dark color so let's have a look what did I do I went to my own system to my icon system and I saw that this kind of blue well could have a bluish kind of theme so let's have a look i know of course when i create the icons that this is the color so 1793d1 and the other one will be the lighter version so if you remember those and go to the script again then you see that i already filled it in so the light color is 45A8D, that's my choice. And the dark one is this one. So this is the only thing you should you should change. That's it. Choose two colors that are a bit similar. Huh? And then this these are the main colors, but there are as you can see variations in really small variations. This is an A and this is a C so very small what we're going to do is change all the old colors we find into new colors and this little thing here does just that that's all you should know for now let's change the colors run it you do that by clicking change starting change color show and all our SVGs etc etc have been changed. Go to source, go to KJ30, and then it's loading, it says here. Push in by pressing F5. So this one we should be able to see. Just double click it. And as you can see, 100% success. Everything is blue. And now we're going to check here. Assets. 100% success we need that to be 100% that's that and we could ha have a quick look here, so, uh, not here but here as well to the switch everything has been checked the codes have been changed assets f5 have been changed to 
blue. So maybe last check just for to show you guys that it's not only SVG that changes, but also all the other colors here inside that change, I think. Which one is it? This is one of the blue ones, 45A. 8DA, so everything, not just the SVGs, but also the CSS and everything else has changed due to this little script. And now we're going to do the next step. The next step is going to GTK 3.0, 3.8 assets. Delete everything that's in here because, because those are the green versions. And we're going to need Control A delete. We're going to need the blue versions where they will be created with this magic script that's up there. And the rest is in order. So next up is this running that. We'll make sure that all the icons will be made. We need to run it with Python in front of it and then enter. It's going to update everything. Let's take a look what he's doing now you can read the code take it apart i'll do that in another movie but what it's doing now is just filling again what i just deleted so this is the process of making all the icons not only in the 3.0 also in the 2.0 and then everything will be ready to test so let's pause the movie movie here and uh, check back later everything has um, Ended here, building teams, white dark, etc. Everything has changed. And then uh, let's have a look. So in the GTK 3.0, we have assets now, which are these. In the source on GTK 2.0, we have also this. This is the dark one and this is the light one so everything is uh, fine let's check out this part here user share themes and you have here the mint y dark and darker so these are the ones that um, are blue yeah so um, Let's give it a name because if we're going to copy paste this in the themes here, then you will see that there's already a mint white dark darker available. So we change the name. I'm going to think about uh, what name I shall give it. Okay, I'm going to give it a name Arch, which is written like this. Let's copy paste this, control C. One is done, two, and three, like this. Don't forget, go inside your index file, your index theme, and copy paste where you need to, and then save. I did save that one. All right. One up, one down. Save. And then one up, one down. Save. Don't need this anymore. These are our themes that we created. We control C it and we put it in themes and we control V it again. And then we select it. <coughs> Let's go to the home. This is the look of our home file. And let's select it now. There we are. So, dark arch is something else than dark arc. Dark arch, this one, and then 
the last one dark arch as you can see all the little icons are now the same blue as the top here as these icons and uh, well these things here are not created uh, with the script so they'll stay the same and we have here blue 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 everywhere I feel so blue and this as well everything has been changed and now we have a completely new system.